the cat key. Um, okay, yeah, so if you want to improve stamina and endurance, let's start with free resources, moving up to cheap, moving up to, uh, to moderate investment in, in, in improving stamina and endurance. So the first way is just uh, take this test. Take a deep breath. Right now, just take a deep breath. After you took that deep breath, if your shoulders rose up, right, if you went like this, if you went and your shoulders moved up in the air, um, then you might want to check out this video called How to Breathe by Dr. Vranich, V-R-A-N-I-C-H. Um, she's got a breathing technique that'll take you two minutes to learn and it'll completely change your life, right? It changed my life because she teaches you that breathing is a skill and most people haven't learned it through no fault of their own because almost no one teaches you how to breathe. I've been playing soccer for 27 years and not one single coach or, or gym teacher or any trainer in my life has even, has, has even brought it up. So for that reason, if you check out this video, if there's one thing you could take away from this video, it's, it's check out that video, How to Breathe, Dr. Vranich, V-R-A-N-I-C-H. Um, something else, right? So, so okay, so that, that lays down your breathing technique. Now let's talk about efficiency of, of your movement and, and your being able to move in a very fluid way, right? This is an RMT rope. This it's just a length of rope that says a little bit longer than you are tall. You want it a little bit longer than you are tall because some people like to put knots in the end. If you put a knot in the end, it, it acts as a, a handle, and some people prefer that. Some people don't, but it gives you the option to do it. You can't you can't put you can't make an RMT rope go grow longer. I mean, you could tie two ropes together, but it kind of just it looks a bit funny. So you want to go, you'd rather go a little bit longer so that you could go down instead of being too short and you can't extend it, if that makes sense. So <clears throat> the reason why this is going to help you, you improve your stamina is because it's effort, effortless, because, because each step you take requires a certain amount of, of strength, right? And there are players who spend a lot of time in the gym and they can squat heavy weight, they can deadlift heavy weight, they can leg press heavy weight, but they're so, un, they're so uncoordinated that that strength doesn't transfer on the field into being able to stop and start or stop on a dime, right? They can't transfer that strength into motion. This, on the other hand, is, is almost one for one in terms of benefits when it comes to tr transferring on the field performance because it's strength through motion, which means, which means it's so low impact that, that there's almost, that recovery time is almost non-existent. So not only is this gonna help you improve your running technique because it forces you to whip your arms down and pop your knees up, it helps you improve your core strength, you're getting balance, you're getting timing, you're getting rhythm. You're gonna be able to relax, right, when you're swinging this around. And as you're, and, and, and it also makes you more explosive, right, because as you start to swing this rope around, you get a better, you get better control and awareness of where your body is in time and space. The more that you're aware of your own body, the more that you can, the, the more that you can control what it does. So you can be, you, this makes you more nimble. This makes you more agile. It's multi-directional locomotion, right? So that just means that you're going to be more fluid, right? Like when you step on the soccer field, you're just going to be so um, dynamic in ways that right like that that you wouldn't get into these positions in 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 other ways right there's not a lot of tools that do that that you can bring anywhere in the world with you for less than 10 bucks i mean you could argue um indian indian um they're called indian clubs but even those even those those are un unwieldy to transport maybe if you have two empty water bottles you can make some, you know, a set of Indian clubs, but I prefer the rope because <clears throat> um, there are things that you can do with the rope that you can't do with Indian, with Indian, uh, Indian clubs. So, for less than ten bucks, right, you could tie two shoelaces together. You could cut an old towel in half. Um, I've even done it with a tie, right, a tie that you like a necktie. Um, you can use a long, like if you have a. Uh, an old, um, um, you could use a broken iPhone 
core, right? There's a lot of options that you can use of, of things in, in your house that um, you could just kind of MacGyver together to make like even cutting a piece of an old blanket or something. Like you could be creative or just 10 bucks you can make one, make one at your local hardware store, right? This is just some soft, some soft rope and, right, so, I mean, I just can't, I can't talk enough about it. If there's only thing that, one thing, if there's a second thing you could take away from this video, it's that swinging this rope around is effortless strength through movement, and when you develop strength and balance, and you're more coordinated, that's gonna help you, um, if you're gonna use, it's gonna help you be less tired at the end of a game, because, because you're going to be able to do the same amount of work the same amount of work is gonna feel less taxing because your, your movement on the field is gonna be more, uh, it's gonna be more effortless, right? Because this, this is what this teaches. It teaches effortless locomotion. It, it, it makes your running technique near perfect, right? Because it's gonna show you how to really uh, connect your upper body and your lower body and your hands and your feet at the same time, right? It harmonizes the whole body's rhythm in a very low impact way. Right, so you can go low, right? You can go high, one-legged balance behind the back, right? Making your spine bend and twist, breathing. I noticed my my juggling technique improved from this, which improved my pass to my shooting. It's like every part of my game got better from swing this rope around. So I'm telling you, you got to get on this rope. No one's talking about this right now. No one's talking about it. RMT rope. Search David Weck. W E C K. Next thing you might want to invest in, if you're serious about improving your stamina in a very short period of time, this is an O2 trainer. An O2 trainer by Bass Rutten. It's lightweight, it's portable, it's cheap. Right, look. Um, just so you get an idea of the size. Right, here's a toothbrush. Toothbrush. Um, O2 trainer. And uh, this is so powerful that it's clinically proven to cure asthma, not just clinically tested. A lot of things say they're clinically tested, doesn't mean jack. This is clinically proven to cure asthma um, when used properly. So let me help show you how it works. Right, all it does is it, it strengthens your breathing muscles. People think a lot of the breathing action happens in the chest area, not the case. You have all these breathing muscles in your back and your lower back so as you use this every single day for a few minutes, right? I think it's three minutes a day. I, I, I don't even go that far. I spend my, I spend, I do this two minutes a day. And man, this is a tough workout. And it doesn't, right, like, it, it's, it's a very nuanced workout because it's gonna strengthen your body in different ways. Not only does it strengthen your breathing muscles, but a lot of bodybuilders will use this to strengthen their core because it makes you flex your core so much. Here, I'll show you how, how it works. Right, so that thing packs a punch, man. I'll tell you what. So just doing that for a minute a day, they have there's different settings that go that that are that are um, um, that will you know you start on the lowest set setting and then after a few um, you know a few days or a few weeks you kind of go a little bit harder. It's just a progression, right? So nice and easy. So those would be the three main ways, and then there's I'll, I'll throw on a fourth one. <clears throat> If you search, if you search um, Kador Zion, Z-I-A-N-I, -I, seven postures, right? He's got these seven postures. He's got a book, but he's got lots of videos online. Search Z-I-A-N-I, -I, seven postures, and he shows you all these different positions that strengthen your toes, that strengthen your feet, that strengthen your Achilles. So what he's going to teach you is how to get more bang for your buck, how to be stronger in each step. He's going to teach you how to... Um, Strengthen your body from the toes all the way up your all the way up the kinetic chain, right? Like I said, foot, ankles, Achilles, knees, hips, and when you strengthen each step, right? If each step is more powerful, then you're gonna cover more distance using less energy, right? So the same amount of distance 
And the same amount of work is gonna feel easier if you can make each step stronger, right? Strengthening your body from the ground up, right? So this is called the cat. And it kind of shows you how to open up your toes, right? In the back leg, if this is opening up, right? You can feel this tremendous stretch in the hip, hip flexor and it kind of opens up your whole, your whole core, right? Now, now I'm getting this nice, I'm uh, building this, this fluid in the knee, which is what you want. Just rolling the, the front of the toes, right? So just by doing these simple stretches, you have this, you get this deeper understanding, right? Your feet just feel more aware of each step it takes and you feel more balanced and strong and flexible at, the, at your feet. And since your feet are the first contact point with the earth, this strength is gonna transfer to your whole body. So that's another one that you could check out. Free resources, you got hundreds of videos online and he's, he's 49 years old and he can dunk on a 10 foot hoop, right? So this man is strong. So not only does he talk the talk, but he walks the walk. So this is a resource that's changed my life that I do every single day. So check out some of these ideas and uh, reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.